Hi crafters, this is Michelle. I'm going to be doing my very first video on YouTube because I was so inspired by a few YouTube channel owners um, just recently. One of them is one of my favorites, it's Jennings644. She has a fabulous YouTube channel. She does all kinds of crafts, all kinds of mediums. What inspired me so much was her most recent video on her jewelry finds and other finds when she went to the garage sales in her area. She lives in England, and I think they call them car boots that she went to, and it was just fabulous. She found all sorts of things that she could reuse, that she could alter, and it was just wonderful um, to see someone find something like that and be able to reuse it and make it new again. So I was so inspired that I am going to do my very first haul video because I wanted to show you what I found when I went out to the garage sales in my area. I live in the States, I live in Ohio, so I decided to see what I could find and see if I could reuse them. So here, let me start and show you what I found. Now the first thing that I found was this beautiful, beautiful lace. Look at this. I want to make sure that you can see that. It is so pretty. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that fabulous? And there's a lot on this card. This was part of a bunch of laces that I got for 50 cents. I couldn't believe it. Isn't that pretty? So pretty and delicate. The next lace that I found in that bunch is this one. Look at that. I love all the little details in this. You could even cut this lace and use it in three little sections if you wanted to, but it's so pretty just to leave it like it is. I'd say there's probably about two to three yards on that one. That was part of what I found. And then this last lace It has like a cream color in the middle. I hope you can see that. This is my first video, so I'm trying to figure out the lighting. Isn't that pretty? It's a cream color. It has the lacy little nubs on the side. You can even use the back. The back is equally as pretty. Look at that. I'd say there's probably maybe two and a half yards in that. So right here, just this bunch alone, that was only 50 cents. I know, I couldn't believe it either. That's just part of my haul. I went to another garage sale, and I found these beautiful frames. Look at this. It has the picture already in it. Sorry for the glare. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I like, what I like about the, the um, glass is it's like a dome. Very slight, but it is domed. Now, these aren't wood. These are plastic. But I figured that's fine because it's lightweight. It'll be easy to hang on the wall. And what I want to do is try to get some impressions. Let me see if you can get a close-up. Look at that. Wouldn't that be pretty to get an impression and maybe make some charms? Also on this one here. I just love that. I thought it was so pretty. Look at the detail. The little pretty rose with the leaf. If I am able to make a mold of that, I will try to make some charms and maybe do a video. But I thought this would be perfect to do as a shabby chic. Maybe paint it white with some really pretty flowers on it. But look at the price. It was two frames for a dollar. Here's the other one. It's the same type of detail, the same rose with the leaves, just a different picture. And I believe I can also take this out and scan it in, you know, because I can just take it, take it out from the back. And this even gives you the name of it. It says Unknown Lady by Nazier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, this was what I was showing from before. And I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do with these. 
This just has a uh, photo of a flower and a vase. I probably won't be keeping that. But these were only 25 cents a piece, and I did get four of these. Uh, like I said, I think there were coasters, but I have, or well, maybe not, because they do have the um, hardware on them for you to hang. So, but there's four of them here, and so I have lots of um, ideas tossing around in my head for what to do with those. And then I found another photo frame, and this is, again, resin, but look. Look at that. I would love to take a mold of that as well. And I have an idea for this one. This was only a quarter. I think I might turn this into um, a pin cushion. And I'll let you know how that goes. But I love that as well. So that was a quarter. Then... I couldn't believe I found this. I've been watching YouTube videos for a while. And a few of the people had done the altar jewelry with the dominoes. I didn't have any dominoes. So I went to this one garage sale. And this is what I found. I couldn't believe it. Dominoes double six and it was a dollar. So I believe there's 48 dominoes in here. So I can I have plenty to play with. I have plenty to go to town with. I would love to make a bracelet. I'd love to do some jewelry. So I got picked that up. And then, let's see. I do have some other things, some really small items to show you. Let me get them out of the bag here. Now this is the exciting part. This is what I was so excited about um, when Jennings went to her garage sales. I wanted to find some old jewelry that I could tear apart, that I could use on my projects. And so let me show you a few that I did find. These were two earrings that I found. And I just love them. One, because they have bling. I'm a bling girl. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then they have this really pretty center. They just need cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to be taking the backs off of these. And I'll probably be using them as flower centers or just an accent on one of my projects. So I have two of those. And these were a quarter. And I found these at various garage sales. Then I found this necklace. But look at these connectors. I thought these would be great for doing charms. They're all kinds of little connectors. I'm going to take this necklace all apart. It's got little coins all over it. It's so long and these were 50 cents I believe. There's a lot of connectors in there and even in between you know there's jump rings and I can use those. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's the coins. So cute. I love that. Then, oh I told you I was a bling girl. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. There's only a few places, like right here, where this bling is coming off. But I can fix that. I can cut this, use it at the end of a tag. Isn't that pretty? It looks like it's, you know, it's just got sewn, hand sewn onto the back of a piece of fabric. Love it. Okay, what else did I find? Oh, this necklace. This was one of the things I wanted to find because, like I said, Jennings' video showed you how to take these things apart. Look at this. Even though some of the stones are missing, I do have a good collection of stones that I can place in there. But you can take all of these pieces apart and you can use these on your projects. So I really hit the jackpot with this, with this one. Look at the little beads, the little connector chain. And then what she showed us was, you know the extender chain that's usually in a lot of necklaces that has the little claw clasp? You can use that, the perfect size, to do a charm to hang off of a book. So I'll be taking this apart and be setting them in different pots. She used different pots to put her chains in. I'm super excited about that. And then I went to another garage sale. Let me move these over to the side. And it was an, actually a crafter. She um, was someone that um, I actually knew 
from my daughter's school and she liked to make jewelry. So this little baggie here was 50 cents. Let me take these out so you can see them. Little baggie was just 50 cents and there's so many little neat things in here. We've got the little connectors. We have a little charm. There's a little dragonfly charm. Um, tons of little connectors like for your necklaces. You can use um, E6000 to put on your little necklace ends here. All kinds of little goodies. Here's a little necklace connector. This might not be the right word for them. You know, like I said, I'm pretty new to all of this. But there's all kinds. There's a little bead. There's a little bead cap. I mean, just a whole lot of little things in here. It's wonderful. So I got that for 50 cents. And then I picked up a few bags. This one, look at that. 10 cents. These were all bead caps. A whole baggie full of bead caps. You can't beat it. And I love to do those altered stick pins. You know, that you can create... Look at that, isn't that pretty? Oops, one fell down. So I'm so excited about these because those would be great in making the stick pins. Hey, look at this little one. Isn't that nice? If you can see that. So those were 10 cents. And I'm gonna be separating these and putting them away so it's okay that they go everywhere. And then this baggie, it's a gold color, and these are charms. So this charm we have, I hope you can see that. It's a little bird charm. And then we have leaf charms. These are really thin and delicate. Let me take these out and put them on my hand so you can maybe see them better. See that? I just love them. So for 50 cents, you can't beat it at all. Oh, and I did get, at that previous garage sale with all of the frames, I did get these large frames. Much like the smaller ones. And I, I may not have enough in the frame here to be able to show you the whole piece. But look at that. It's similar. It's plastic again, but I am going to be trying to take some molds of some of the intricate detail and then go ahead and paint these like a shabby chic white. Isn't that pretty? And what I like about it is, if, I don't know if you can, it'll pick up on the camera, but what I like about it is right here, this is like felt, red felt, and it's indented, and so it's like almost like a mini shadow box. So I have six of these frames. So I'm really going to work on getting these painted and and uh, see what I can do with them, especially on the inside, because there's a lot of opportunities on the inside. I'll let you know what I do with those. And back to that other garage sale. This was the best find of all. This is the Stamplets. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and move the video. This is called Stamplets by Primo, okay? And what it has in it, let me set this back down. What it has in it is um, four blocks of Primo, this, you know, the Sculpey Clay, four limited edition rubber stamps, and a shapelet. So here it is on the back, look at these. Isn't that fabulous? It's a whole kit, it's never been opened. You get the brown, the gray, the black, and like a red color of the Primo clay. I'll try and show you the other stamps over here. Got like a Roman column at the top and then a face. This was $3. Never even been open. Isn't that fantastic? So, I guess that concludes my haul. But I was so excited. I wanted... Oops, sorry for the glare. Let me move that. I wanted to thank Jenny and 644 for helping me make the leap into doing my first video. And I just wanted to thank everyone for watching. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. I'm going to be having a lot more videos. Thanks a lot. Happy crafting, everybody. Bye-bye.